Hi everybody, Mr. Taylor here. Let's talk about the graphing component of proportional relationships. As we had mentioned prior, we said that when we are looking at multiple representation, um, we are looking at a verbal, a numeric, a table, and an algebraic equation. And what we also we want to do is we want to connect between the unit rate in a proportional, proportional relationship uh, to the slope of a line. In plain words, do they match up? Are they the same? Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up so we can see exactly what we're talking about. And I don't want you to get ahead of me. Uh, I just want you to... Uh, sort of uh, follow along as I show you the four different components. And then I have some work for us to do before we get to 8.58. Well, here we go. We mentioned that we can look at a table of values. We can look at a verbal description. We can look at the rise over run. We can look at a particular graph and we can look at the equation and determine uh, proportion, our proportional relationship. So pretend with me if you don't mind, let's take a look at this, uh, this table, this tabular form. Uh, we have some gallons of some sort and cost, uh, and it tells us that no gallons is zero dollars, one gallon is four dollars, Two gallons is $8, three gallons is $12, and they just say, well, X and Y. So what I want to do is, uh, give me a little, let's see, that's probably going to be too big. Let's go here. I think that's big enough. Let's try that one. Okay. So let's take a look at this table and see can we make sense out of it. It tells me for whatever reason, um, if I don't buy anything, it costs me no money. So to me, that tells me that my y-intercept or my particular graph or my y-intercept, let me go there, uh, is zero comma zero. So that's my y-intercept. So if my y-intercept is zero comma zero, then we know from past experience that this particular graph is proportional. Okay. Now it also tells me if I bought four gallons, or should I say one gallon, it'll cost me four dollars. So again, I'm looking at Units of measure, so I have gallons compared to cost. Uh, now, if you look closely, we can see, well, you think maybe that this is the slope? Well, we'll take a look and see. If I bought two gallons, it'll cost me $8. And if I bought three gallons, it'll cost me 12. Well, the last thing that we need to see is the author is talking about this is X and this is Y. And if we write our slope, which first let's focus on slope, we write our slope as the change in Y over the change in X, or we could just say our slope is equal to rise over run or uh, we could say our slope is equal to output over input either way we look at it we can take these particular ratios because when we talked about it earlier we say that uh, rate of change was a ratio so we could have 4 over 1 or we could have 8 over 2, or we could have 
12 over 3. Notice I put the y values over the x values because this is what it tells us in our particular formula. Reducing these, dividing by 2, uh, this would give us 4 over 1. Dividing by 3, this would give us 4 over 1. So this is constant. 4 over 1 would be our uh, rate of change and also our slope in this particular particular problem. So what do the rate of change mean? Let me try to clear up some of this clutter. I did it again. Congratulations, Mr. Taylor. You did it again. <laughs> so, which means we're not going to be able to erase this. Uh, it tells us that the rate of change is $4 for every one gallon. Or we could simply say one gallon costs four dollars. It it, 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 it it means the same. Just make sure you understand that we're looking for that, as we said in the first video, that we're looking for that one, whether that one is the, the denominator or that one is the numerator, is what we're looking for. Okay? All right, let me make sure I get the right thing this time around. Okay, now let's take a look at the verbal component. So the verbal component says, if milk, so now we see that they were talking about milk. If milk is sold at $4 per gallon, then the problem situation can be represented with $4 as the unit rate and four as the slope of the line. That's exactly what this particular tabloid, or should I say, this tabular representation is telling us that here we're talking about selling milk, and milk is $4 a gallon. If I bought no gallons, no money. One gallon, four. Two gallons, $8. Three is four. So numerically, we, we, we're looking at the same thing. This Numerically, this is our, uh, we could say, dollars to gallon or uh, gallons to dollar however but they, they're saying cost to gallons cost to gallon four dollars to one this is our unit rate four over one and of course it also constitutes our slope really hate i had to to go in and 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 and, and pick the wrong little button this is i'm trying to get used to this particular app on this ipad i just downloaded a little you know shortly and it it's, um, to me, <laughs> the highlighter and the eraser looks the same. But anyway, I promise I won't make it again, won't make the mistake again. So if we look at a graph and we're looking at the X axis and we have the X axis in gallons. And if you look at the increments, half one, half two, half three, half four, half five, half six, half X. The cost at zero, and then you see four, six, but apparently we could buy these in half gallon. But re regardless of it, if you notice here, if we go in trying to find what this and this, we just simply just take our little graph. And remember, we talked about these these triangles. Uh, so we would go up one, two, three, four, and over one. Or we could come down one, two, three, four, and over one. Down is negative, but to the left is negative, which a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive. Okay? Now, coming from here, we going up one, two, three, four, and over one, two. That's, what should I say, yeah, one, two, three, four, and over one, so four over one. Going up one, two, three, four, and over one. So we're constant with our rate. Uh, 
without slope. And this is the, how can I say it? This is the graph perspective. Now, one thing you have to notice that the graph starts here. This is our y-intercept. It starts right here. And the step, look, you, let's take a look at slope. Look how pretty, look how close this, this graph is to the x compared to how far it is from, from the y-axis. So this is a pretty steep graph. The steepness, because it's four, the steepness, and, 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 and let me give you a point. When you're looking at these graphs, when you're literally looking at these graphs, guys, you will look at this graph and you will be able to come up with some conjecture and knowing that the graph couldn't be one-fourth because one-fourth will run that graph closer to the x-axis than it is to the y-axis. So remember, the greater the slope, the closer it comes to the, uh, the y-axis. Okay? Uh, proportional because it's run through the origin. Okay? Over here, they're taking uh, the slope formula and taking a point, second point, first point. Second point, first point. Second point, first point. This is what they're doing here, subtracting and coming up with four over one as a slope. So again, it tells us the unit rate, $4 per gallon, or four over one, represent the slope of the line, which is four. Now, because we said earlier that this thing is proportional, and if it's proportional, we write this and let's, let's make sure that we see it. We write this as y is equal to k times x, where k in this particular situation is 4, which is the constant of proportionality. So again, uh, nice little setup. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to post uh, a video. The video is going to be really short, so all I want you to do is go over the first problem. Matter of fact, I'll probably model that for you. And then there's going to be uh, four or five problems for you to work and turn in. Ah, for that always loving thought of extra credit. This is Mr. Taylor. I'll see you soon.